all right in today class we are going to discuss about the uh, reflection that is a subtopic of transformation so there are uh, few cases of reflection in which we are going to discuss the first one and the first case is that in which um, object is known we have the object right and secondly the line of reflection is also known and we need to find out the image or the final shape so that is unknown all right so that is the first case object is known line of reflection is known and image is known now how we are going to reflect any shape or any point let's take an example first let's suppose you have a point 5 comma 3 all right and we label this point a and the coordinates are 5 comma 3 now we need to reflect the point the point 5 comma 3 with the line of x equals to 3 so first thing what we need to do we need to draw the line x equals to 3 on your graph so that is a line x is equals to 3 all right now we need to reflect the point a with this line x equals to 3 now we need to see the distance from the line of reflection to the point all right here the value of x is 3 here the value of x is 5 that means the difference between these two is 2 units all right 5 minus 3 it's 2 units if this distance is 2 units then this distance should also be 2 units all right so here distance should also be two units as well so line of reflection is such a line that divides the shape in exactly two equal parts all right so if this distance is two units then this distance will also be two units right now currently the value of x is three if you move two steps on the left side that means two steps should be a minus from this value three so three minus two leads to the value of one and the y coordinate it will be same so the final answer it will be 1 comma 3 so i can say that that is a point a dash after the reflection of the line x is equals to 3 all right let's take one more example the same point a but now we need to reflect the point across the x-axis so i'm just highlighting the line x-axis so that is a line of reflection all right so i need to reflect the point a with this line x-axis so this point after reflection will be on this side of the graph all right now we need to highlight the distance so if you focus that what should be the value of this distance all right so the value of y is three units if this value is three units that means after reflection it will be three units as well all right since we are moving in the y coordinate that means no change in x so the point a dash after reflection it will be 5 and the y value it will be minus 3 now there are four basic cases that you will observe in your past papers and the first is when it is reflection across the x-axis all right so whenever there is a reflection across the x-axis so the point x comma y will be swept onto x comma minus y right the same thing we have applied on that coordinate a 5 comma 3 if i applied the same trick a 5 comma 3 so the x coordinate remains same but the y coordinate changes its sign so that is the value similarly if we are going to find out the reflection in y axis right so the general working formula is what it says that x y will be swept onto minus x comma y let's take an example here all right let's suppose we have a point the coordinates are 1 and uh, minus 4 all right the coordinates are 1 and minus 4 1 and minus 4 when we apply the principle here so that will leads to x will be same but it will change the sign so 1 will be swept onto minus 1 and y remains same so that will be minus 4 so the point after reflection of this one right, right? this point after reflection across y axis it will be lies here minus 1 comma minus 4 so that is the value after that in the third case when you have a line y equal to x x y swaps onto y and x now where is the line y equals to x y equals to x passes through the origin in this direction right so that is a line of y equals to x whenever you have a reflection across this line so x y swaps onto y and x let's take an example of the point a 
a having the coordinates of 5 comma 3 as you can see on your uh, graph so 5 comma 3 after reflection it will be 3 comma 5 similarly for y equals to minus x the line of y equals to minus x passes through the origin but with negative gradient all right so that is a line of y equals to minus x whenever you have this line so the coordinates of x y after reflection it will be minus y comma minus x the same example we apply on the point a 5 comma 3 so 5 comma 3 after reflection it will be minus 3 and minus 5 